Okay, here's my view on a little thing called forced education. Or compulsory education. As you know, the United States makes its citizens go to school. It's not voluntary, that's why it's compulsory. Education in the United States is typically compulsory from age 5 to age 18. And education being compulsory in the first place, no matter what the age, no matter how long, I think it's bullshit. Education should not be compulsory, it should be optional. No matter when, no matter who you are, no matter what age, you shouldn't be forced to go to school. And here's why. You see, education is a great thing. I, I love education. I'm currently going to college with Amazon. And I think everyone should have an education. Everyone needs an education, obviously, to get a job, to, to work for money, to survive. But by no means do I think it should be forced. I, I mean, I don't think it, should, it shouldn't be forced at all. You see, forcing education down people's throats, that's the state basically saying, I know what's right for you. I know what you need. I'm gonna make you have it because, hey, I know it's right for you. Take it. You, you don't have a choice. I mean, that's the state. The state designed to be your mommy or your daddy. You shouldn't have that. You know, it's your life. You make your choices whether or not you want the right stuff or not. Education should be something you want shouldn't be something that's forced upon you by the state. Since it's forced upon you by the state, doesn't that tell you something that maybe it's trying to indoctrinate you? Maybe it wants you to learn certain things? Maybe if education has to be forced, it ain't that great? Or at least any kind of education at all shouldn't be forced. I mean, you shouldn't be forced to homeschool or private school either, but Public education, if it's forced, doesn't that tell you, hey, maybe this ain't so great. Maybe there's an agenda here, which there is. Education is it's a form of indoctrination, at least the U.S. public kind. Private school and homeschooling, it's controlled by you. So, there's no agenda indoctrination going on here, but for the state, yeah, there, there definitely is some indoctrination going on. You see, according to According to sites like Wikipedia, education was made compulsory in, 18, in the U.S. in 1852, starting with Massachusetts. Horace Mann is considered the father of public school, and he's the reason, way back starting in 1852, you have to go to school if you're under the age of 18, starting at the age of five years. He's the reason why you get to be indoctrinated. You're only taught stuff they want you to know, want you to learn. 
You're only allowed to wear in ways they want you to do your work, you know, fill out this worksheet, take this quiz, take this test. Government does this because, you know, they want you to be a mindless labor, a mindless drone. Don't question things. Go with the flow. You know, it's part of the it's part of the economic complex, you know, they just want you to be a worker for the businesses that like mindless workers that don't question things, just just do do do, don't think think think. There's also this website called schoolsurvival.net in the description that tells you about the BS of the public school system. I mean, what kind of system makes you go? Why don't you just learn because you want to learn? You want to get better at something. Why should I have to go to a concrete prison eight hours a day learning shit I don't even care about? Being with kids, I don't even care about. They don't even care about me. That'll never be my friends. That have no compatibility with my personality. Why, why should I be there? I mean, that's another thing about the public school system is it's got tons of bullies, tons of jerks who aren't bullies but are jerks nonetheless, you know, Jackass of Quinn says, and then you got the teachers. Teachers, they're dicks sometimes. I know, I had some. So, the thing, important thing about this whole education shouldn't be forced, and it needs to change. No, no important. An important part of his argument is schooling and education aren't the same thing. Education is the knowledge you pick up from learning, from doing something to get knowledge. Schooling is where you, where you go to supposedly get an education. You know, you go to school to learn, but they aren't the same thing. School, place to get education, education, actual learning, actual data, facts, information, learning, making use of that. Getting it all in your head and applying it somehow. Well, public school system, honestly, how long has it done this? I mean, the United States isn't at the top of the list of, it, of well performing academically. <sighs> Academically well-performing countries, despite being the richest country in the world. So, forcing education doesn't really make you learn. You can force a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. They can make you go in the building, but they can't make you learn. It's just, oh, kids need to learn, you know, they need to be educated. I hear that all the time. And people will twist my words and say, oh, so you're against education, or, but kids need to learn. And there's this one guy that said, oh, at college, when I mentioned this viewpoint, oh, so you think, you think that only the elite rich should have an education. And I was like, calm down. It's, it's not what I meant. I mean, I absolutely, I absolutely, sorry, I'm losing my balance a little bit. I'm scratching my leg, my foot. I absolutely can't stand it when people twist my words. Make it so, make it out so I said something that I didn't really say, you know, straw man argument. Where you act like someone said something else and you argue against that thing you acted like they said that they really said it and act like you're right, you won. You won the argument. They're wrong. They don't have anything to prove, but like all logical fallacies, you're not really proving anything, so I, I just I don't want people to twist my words. I want to be taken seriously. I want to be understood, and above all else, I want to be agreed with. Like I know, obviously, not everyone's going to agree with me. That's not how the world works. Not everyone's going to agree with you on anything. Some people just don't agree with you no matter how well you explain your viewpoint like sometimes 
Sometimes you did an optimal job of explaining yourself, but they just don't agree with you. They just, now it's going beyond fact, now it's just going to opinion. It's going towards opinion. That, hey, they just don't agree with you. They they think this should, this is how it should be. It's like, it's like gun control. You can provide all the facts that guns allow you to defend yourself against tyrannical government. Guns allow you to defend yourself against criminals. You know, criminals can still get guns. Gun-free zones, shootings, gun-free zones are where most of the shootings occurred. You don't have to use a gun to kill. You can just go for recreational shooting. You can have all these facts, plus more, and they still will agree with gun control. You know, because that's how they think it should be. You provided the facts for against gun control. You provided the facts for being pro-gun. You know, you can even speak from experience if you have a gun and you shot some asshole that decides to break in. And you survived. They didn't. Your family's safe. Your property's safe. He just called the police to confirm, hey, this is a, this is, this is self-defense and just drag that asshole's body out of there. You can speak from experience like that and they'll still think, oh, well, we still need to keep people safe and get rid of some of these guns. But that's another subject for another video. Education. Um, it's not effective if you shove it down someone's throat. You gotta have a reason. You gotta have something for them to want to learn for them to come to school and learn. Try Make it an actual attempt to learn. You know, don't just feed them, you know, boring stuff like school. You have to take four core subjects. You gotta take, let's see, you got math, language arts, Science, and you got social studies, which is basically history. And then you got your electives, which, which you have to pick. You gotta have some electives. They're not core classes. They're not like the basic things you have to take. They're like subjects that can kind of deviate from the four main subjects, but you have to take them. You got those. But some people don't like the core subjects, and some people don't even like these electives. They, they purely want to learn something else and the school may not provide that but nonetheless you have to go you have to attend the classes you have to learn but that's that's just crap you know I'm a person I'm a human being I can make decisions for myself if I don't want to go to school, I'll reap the I'll reap the consequences of not being educated. I won't be able to get a job. I won't be able to get money to buy things I need. You know, place to live, food, water, clothes. I'll be homeless. But that's my choice and that's my responsibility. Not not yours as the average Joe, not the government's, you know, it's it's my responsibility. I gotta pick the right things for myself. I don't need Joe Average or Mr. Truancy Officer, politicians say, oh, you need to go to school because well, we know what's best for you, you know, that's, that's ridiculous. I think that it's against parental rights to have kids forced to go to school. I mean, kids should be able to choose just because they can't choose the so-called right decision doesn't mean you, you have the right to choose for them. I mean, that's 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 just absurd. I mean, it's like, you can't make a good decision for you that automatically equals giving me the right to make a decision for you. It's like, well, where's the logic in that? So, it goes against individual rights in that sense, and it goes against parental rights. It's like, well, can't the parents choose how to raise their kid? How to teach your kid information you know, how the kid can learn, why should they have to be sent to your government schools, or why should they have to have 
education. Like, we gotta make, well, well, if you don't go to public school, we gotta at least make sure you go to private school or homeschool. It's like, well... You still need to be able to choose for yourself. Plus, you don't even have to be homeschooled or private school to get an education. You can just look something up on the internet or go to a library or hear from someone else or do an activity. You know, like, if you want to learn how to get a job, maybe most no neighbor's lawn for some cash. That does work, and that's hands-on learning. You're learning how to cut the grass. Or make a lemonade stand. You're getting into the food industry, you know, selling beverages. Or, or babysit or walk someone's dog. You're, getting, you're actually getting some job experience. Or just sitting in the concrete building all day, eight hours, learning stuff you don't want, learning stuff you won't even need or remember with people that... You don't care about, and don't care about you. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can make some friends in school. Plenty of people have, but no matter how many people you ally yourself with, there's always going to be those people that you don't quite like. That you, you feel like I really shouldn't have to spend time in the same room with this person day after day. Like, you know, I mean, I've been. Some people have been pretty rude to me in school, and I don't like them. Like, do I have to spend the time in the classroom with these people? And even the people that aren't rude, it's like, well, I never really talk to them. I'd rather just be with the people I like. Some people argue that, oh, well, in the real world, you're not going to be able to be with people you always like. But my argument to that is... Well, then why should we be forced to into the school system? It's unnatural. A job, yeah, you're forced to work with people you don't like, but you get to choose to even apply for that job. School, you don't. You got to be registered in some school, some form of education, by this date, by this age, or else, hey, we get to give you court fines. We get to punish the parents by jail time. We even get to take the kids away. You know, for not following our orders on education, which is just dumb. Parents, kids have a right to be able to raise themselves how they see fit. They don't need to stay going and saying, you need to do this, you need to do that. You need your kid to go learn here, have this diet, go to bed by this time. It's just retarded. I'm a libertarian, so I obviously think government should be minimized and that the state shouldn't make you go to school. I mean, the state, government, sorry. I obviously think government should be minimized and that you just leave people alone and let them do what they want because it's their life. We don't need government telling people, you can't, you can't put what you want in your body. You can't be gay. You can't have an abortion. You can't have have whatever guns you want. We don't need that. That that doesn't serve anybody but the, the self-serving politicians. Like, oh, we want to be able to control people's lives. That's 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 power. You know, that's power. And we want to be able to make it harder for people to resist against us if we abuse our power. That's the whole idea of control. Press people, make it harder for you to fight back, you know, take away your rights one at a time, or a couple at a time, but most of the time, timers don't take away rights all at once, because that kind of gets people a bit, still a bit aware that they're being oppressed, and that makes them, it gives them an opportunity to fight back, because they're blatantly having your rights taken away, you know something's up, and you're more likely to fight back then, if your rights are taken away slowly. It doesn't seem as apparent if they're taken away slowly, so that's how tyrants do it in general. In fact, Hitler is even quoted saying that, oh, if you want to control people, take away your, their rights slowly. You know, I mean, that's how he, that's, that's kind of how the Holocaust went down. It's, it took away people's rights slowly. Hitler, the Nazi party took away people's rights slowly. Not in one fell slope, but little by little, and people kind of fell for it, and look what happened, all these five plus million people got killed by Hitler. So, that sucked. 
Also, forcing someone to go to school kind of exposes them to bullies. And I've been picked on by lots of people, such as Cody Susan, Chris Braswell, or some other assholes. It's not fair, but it happened. And the school system isn't exactly good with dealing with bullies. They can get away with all sorts of shit. You know, there's no limit to what a bully can get away with as long as the school is not willing to hold them accountable for their actions. So, you're not very safe in public school. There have been cases where teachers have sexually abused kids, beaten kids. There might even be some cases where they have killed students, but we know they're there. And the thing about forcing all kids to go to school is that you get the troublemakers in there too. So if you made education optional, you wouldn't, the troublemakers wouldn't have to come to fuck it up for the kids that actually want to learn. But no, commercial education, they gotta be in the classroom too. Which is, you know, completely impractical. We shouldn't, have, we shouldn't be educating people that don't really want to be educated. You know, it's not what they want. It's not what they're going to make use of. It's not what they're going to be productive productive about. You know, they got their own thing going on. They'd rather fool around, pick on kids, goof off, not do their worksheets, not show up for a test or a quiz. They'd rather do that. So don't, especially don't make those people go to school. And I used to be for, I used to be for, um, I believe that there's a short amount of time when I thought education should be forced. Like, it'd be great to, like, bring everyone up to a standard and have them all be, you know, knowledgeable. I thought, one time I said, college would be mandatory too, but... I quickly thought about it some more in, like, middle school and went, nah, don't have that. And another thing I used to think was the public school system, while it, with other forms of education, should be voluntary, it should still stay. But now I'm against that the public school system should go as well as, you know, being voluntary. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be there. The state inherently isn't that good with education. It's just not. It, it, it's got... Public education has no incentive to really get better, you know. If it sucks, kids still have to go. Whereas a private or homeschooling system is like, if it sucks, we don't get their money. They quit. You know, private schools... Get rid of the bullies right away, cause you know we need we need our customers to feel safe in our fa educational facility. We need them to be happy. We need them to actually have be learning, or else they don't go to us anymore. So they get rid of those fuckers really fast. Which public school is like, eh, it's just it's just kids being kids, or it's just it doesn't really matter. He'll get over it. You know, it's just it's bad. It's sad. I'm surprised more people aren't getting upset over this. I'm surprised more people aren't saying, you know, this is bullshit. It's gone on long enough. The education's forced. It's not helping. It's infringement of our rights. Let's get rid of it. But no, a lot of people are really complacent. A lot of people think it's just fine to make people go to school. You know, and they, they give me all the same reasons that kids can't make the right decisions for themselves. It'll help out. Child labor would be really re reinstated if we got rid of compulsory education. You know, I hear all these same invalid arguments, which shows, hey, we got a hive mind going on here. We got a hive mind that says education should be forced and that it's good, it'll help, it, we got to get society running. I just don't like that. So. Talk to your state representative if you feel this is bullshit and should get taken care of. I personally want to do that and get the... I, I personally have done it and want the libertarians to be in power too so they get rid of it that way also. Um, I think that people should be getting more mad about this. You know, get rid of it. It's, it's a infringement of your rights. Do you want to make the right choices for yourself? Do you want to be an adult? Do you want to be independent? Do you want to be able to 
live life smoothly without the state's interference? Do you, do you want to get an education truly for yourself, or do you want to make it so the state's helping you out by getting your butt to school, you know? I mean, what do you really want? To be treated like an adult or be treated like a kid? You know, treat me like an individual. Let me make the right or even the wrong choices for myself so I can be free. So, so you only spend the law on people who are actually harming others. You know, don't persecute victimless crimes. Not going to school, it's a victimless crime. You know, I mean, you can argue, oh, but the school doesn't get your money. Well, so what? I mean, that's that's not a reason for compulsory education. They get your money. People get paid. It creates jobs. It's like, well, you shouldn't use me at your expense. I mean, I'm a person. I don't want to be part of this industrial complex where, oh, the state gets money from my butt being in a desk. It's like, no, I don't. I don't like that. I wanna, I wanna learn my way, my own accords, my standards. I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be a guinea pig. I want to I want to be free. I want my education to be under my control. The state run education or just forcing to go to school, no matter what the method, homeschooling, private school, public school, it's, it's not right, you know. I want it to be completely voluntary no matter what the age, you know. In North America, at least. Ideally, you shouldn't be forced to go to school, no matter where you're in the world, but hey, other country. pretty much every country, as far as I know, has compulsory education, so it's only realistic to me to try and change the U.S. So, that's, that's all I have to say for now. I might add on to some stuff later. My battery's running really low, so I'm going to have to charge this thing. So, yeah, that's... That's all I have to really say at the moment, you know, get some protests going, spread the word, do what you can, just, just get the word out there that, hey, this, this isn't right, and that we're gonna, we're gonna do something about it, so, that's all I have to say for now, you know, thanks for being here, and that's, that's it for now.